Hey, what's up guys? It is Archon here, bringing you another video, this time Blade and Soul. It's already been out, it's been out for a while. Um, I thought I'd talk to you about the issues with the FPS, because a few people have been having FPS issues. So I'm going to log in real quick, and then I'm just going to show you my settings, and then talk to you about what you can do to tweak your settings and make sure that your game runs fairly smoothly and you don't have any of the FPS drops that a lot of people have been complaining about, especially on the forums, especially if you have like a high-end system. So the first thing I did, or first thing I noticed, I have an SLI. The game does not appear to support SLI at all. Um, you can always force it via the NVIDIA control panel, but for the most part, there is no inherent SLI support, which is, you know, I don't know, I wouldn't even bother with that, I just deal with it for now, if they patch it, they patch it, if they don't patch it, they don't patch it, but if you have a system that supports SLI, that's great, but this game is not that, you know, high in, I guess, requirements. Alright, so the first thing you notice, the top right hand corner, I'm between 50 to 60, there's not that many people here, and again, I am running it on one card, so, um, I'm gonna show you my settings real quick. As soon as I get out of this. Alright, so... Graphic settings, I'm running it windowed, full screen, it doesn't matter. Um, I capped my frame rates at 80, and my background at 20. Vertical sync is turned off. Advanced settings, everything's pretty much set to high. Um, what's it? I don't like motion blur. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you know I absolutely hate motion blur, so I just leave that turned off. And capping it at 80 frames kind of limits my frame rate anyway, which is nice. Um, though on my card, you know, doing too much, you know, yeah. it just runs on one card right for now anyway. So here's the, the main change that I did. So I went into my NVIDIA control panel as soon as this pulls up, and the setting you're going to want to change, isn't it isn't actually a setting, what you're going to want to do is create a profile. So you're going to go to your um, three, um, manage 3D settings, um, you have global settings and program settings. You're going to go to program settings and you're going to find Blade and Soul. If it's not there, you can always click add and you can add Blade and Soul. So add Blade and Soul, scroll all the way down and make sure like all these settings are toggled. You know, and again, if you want to force SLI, you can do that here. The SLI rendering mode, you can force it here. But I would recommend doing single GPU or NVIDIA recommended. So, as you can see under here, my SLI rendering mode is NVIDIA recommended. Make sure that corresponds here as well. Click apply, click save. One other thing that you'll notice is when I go to check my um, temperatures here, you'll notice that only one card is actually running, meaning SLI just isn't inherently supported by the system. That's just that's just kind of the way it is. So out of the two cards, one's at 58 stock temperature, the other one's at 64. And that's just it, that's really it. The game just does not really support SLI in its current form. There's just really nothing you can do about that. Um, aside from that, I think, uh, I think that's about it. There are other questions about like load times and stuff. I mean, obviously putting it on a SSD will probably like make it easier, I guess, make the game run smoother. That's something you could always uh, try to do, but I think it's more just the processor. Having a fast processor is really just what it comes down to as well. So you're the faster your processor, the better your computer is going to be at running the game. That's pretty much it. If there are any other questions you guys have, um, leave comments in the section below. My FPS is also a little bit lower on screen right now because I'm recording. This happens. That's just how it happens. Um, especially now that I'm only using one card. So yeah, if anyone has any questions or any other uh, suggestions, or if you found any other tweaks, uh, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. Actually, also, on the matter of that, another thing I wanted to talk about is the random crashing. I had, can't believe I almost forgot about this, I had random crashes and I was able to minimize these to almost, I mean, I can't remember the last time I had a crash doing this, I don't think I've crashed yet, 
disabling any Razer products. Um, I use a Razer Naga Chroma, I use a Razer Firefly as my uh, mouse mat, so it's got all the Chroma lighting and everything, and disabling, just completely disabling the Razer Synapse, and then go through your uh, processes. Um, wish I could show you that, hold on. So if you go to Task Manager, open your processes, this is Windows 10 by the way, um, find anything that has Razer attached to it. So Razer Synapse, Razer, I think the other one was like Chroma SDK or something like that. All that stuff, disable it. And then when you're back in game, you shouldn't be crashing. It sounds weird, but it actually works. I was skeptical at first because I would go about, I wanna say 20 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, and then I would crash, almost without fail. And it was always when I was zoning into like a new place, or a new zone, that's when I got the, the crashes. So I've been able to play for a while now, enjoying the game, not really having any issues, and yeah, I don't know what's up with Razer, I don't know if that's something they're gonna fix. I think it could be a combination of Razer Synapse and Game Guard, both uh, conflicting with each other, because you know Game Guard is all about you know preventing people from cheating and stuff like that, so... That could be a thing. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, what you could do also <clears throat> is have your mouse wired, especially if you have like a Naga. Just make sure it stays wired the entire time. And while it's it's wired, you shouldn't have as much issues if you're using a wireless mouse as if you had a, a wired mouse. Sorry, you shouldn't have as much issues using a wired mouse as if you're having a wireless mouse. But I like to keep my mouse wireless. I use it wireless. So yeah, just remember, disable any Razer Synapse or Razer apps you have. It might be annoying, but I mean, your keys should already be macroed or mapped onto the mouse anyway. Most of these mice have memory and or keyboards have memory built on them, so you should, you should be fine. But yeah, that just covers the two things I want to talk about. If you guys have anything else you need answered, any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, if you liked the video, if it was helpful, give it a like, and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. See ya.